guys, it's Hannah, and today I thought I'd film a little discussion video on where I buy books, where you can find some really cheap books, and just my overall book buying habits. So just a few days ago, I watched a video that Philippa from The Garden of Reading uploaded, and she was talking about the whole Amazon controversy and how apparently Amazon is opening now a physical bookstore in Seattle, Washington, and her thoughts and opinions on the kind of monopoly that Amazon has on the book selling industry and discussing how ethical Amazon really is as a company and just some alternate options and places to buy books aside from Amazon. Her video really inspired me to kind of take a closer look at my own book buying habits and where I buy books from and whether or not I want to be buying books from those companies. So today I thought I'd film a little discussion talking about where I buy my books and how I kind of want to change those habits and also hopefully this video can give you guys a few places where you can also find some very cheap books. I'd be lying to you if I said that I never bought books from Amazon because quite a number of the books on my shelf I have actually bought from Amazon. I have Amazon Prime which gives me free two-day shipping and it's really really hard to say no to free two-day shipping because it comes so, so quickly. And as many of you probably know, since a lot of you probably shop on Amazon, the prices are much, much cheaper than a lot of other bookstores, any local bookstores, and even chain bookstores like Barnes & Noble. So it makes sense why so many people, myself included, shop from Amazon to buy their books, because the prices are a lot of the time unbeatable. And I'm not really making this video to say that I'm never gonna shop from Amazon ever again, because that's definitely not true, and I definitely still can't really say no to two-day shipping, and if I can't find a book that I really want very quickly anywhere else, I'm probably gonna buy it from Amazon. But I definitely do want to branch out and where I buy my books, and I have been trying to do that over the past six or seven months, and I have been buying more books from other places, and the number of books I have bought from Amazon has actually reduced, and the number of books that I buy from alternate places has actually increased. And in these past six months, I've discovered some really great websites and some wonderful stores that sell books at a very, very reasonable price, and some that are even comparable to Amazon's prices. So first, I'm gonna talk about physical bookstores and what physical bookstores I tend to shop at. Personally, I live in a very, very small town, and the only bookstore we have is really just in the back of a coffee shop and they have a very very limited selection. Plus their prices are the same prices as Barnes & Noble and if not more expensive because they rarely ever have sales. So since I live in such a small town we don't have any Barnes & Noble, we don't have any Books A Million, we don't have any chapters, nothing like that. We just have our tiny little bookstore in the back of a coffee shop. We do have a couple of used bookstores in some neighboring towns, which I do go to occasionally. However, their prices are still kind of high, especially for used bookstores, but I have found one really great one that I do go to quite frequently. There's one used bookstore in my town that has quite a big selection, and I do actually go to them quite frequently, and I actually bought a book from them just the other day, and they have a good selection, and their books are in good condition, and I've started going there more frequently and buying more of my books from them. I definitely think that used bookstores are a great option if you're looking for cheaper books. And if you're anything like me and you like to have your books in a perfect condition because that's just the way I am with my books, it can be somewhat more difficult to shop at a used bookstore because the books can sometimes tend to be in a not so great condition. But if you do look around, you can definitely find some great books in great condition and save lots of money. I also think that independent bookstores are a great place to buy books. Like I said again, my town only has the one, but there are some towns that are about like 30, 40 minutes outside of where I live and there's a great bookstore that's about 40 minutes from where I live and I love their selection. They always have sales and it's just a wonderful place for me to buy some books. And aside from the price of gas, which it takes to drive there, I'd say it's definitely worth it because they have a great selection and they have really, really cheap prices, which are a lot of the time even below Amazon's prices. So I'd recommend that if you're looking for physical bookstores, you kind of go and explore somewhere in your town or your city. If you live in a big city, you'd probably have quite a few uh, used bookstores and quite a few independent bookstores 
but if you're like me and you live in a much smaller town, you can try going out to different towns or different cities that are surrounding yours and look at some of those and explore some of them. And I'm sure you'll find some bookstore that feels right for you and that has the right prices for you. However, I know that it can be kind of inconvenient to drive out 40 minutes just to go to a bookstore to get cheaper prices, which is why online shopping comes in handy and why so many people tend to buy a lot of their books online. So this gets me into the online bookstores that I have to recommend for you guys and the online bookstores that I shop from personally. The first one, definitely you guys probably already know about this because I've done two book hauls from them, um, but that is Book Outlet. And you guys probably know about Book Outlet because a lot of people talk about Book Outlet, but it's with good reason because they have really, really great prices. So Book Outlet is a website that sells overstocked books so they can reduce the prices of their books and they sell tons and tons of books for very, very cheap. So I really love shopping at Book Outlet because their prices are so, so cheap, but I'd say the only cons with that website are that they do have shipping, which I know everyone hates paying shipping because it's just feels like it's wasted money. But aside from paying shipping, I really do love Book Outlet because their prices are so low and they have lots of options and they restock all the time. So if you missed out on one book, you can just wait a couple weeks and it'll usually be back in stock. And they're just an overall great site. And I use them quite frequently when I'm shopping for books online. If anything, I think I shop from them more than I shop from any other online site. Another online site that I have recently discovered is Thrift Books. And Thrift Books is an online used bookstore, so they have, I think, over 7 million titles, and you can just search and find almost any book on there. They don't tend to have new releases on there because most people don't have used copies of new releases, but they do have lots and lots of books, and I recently put in an order from them, and they are coming to me in the mail, so we'll see how long the shipping takes. But I really liked their selection because they had a lot of books that I wanted and you can buy books in like new, very good, good and acceptable condition. Personally, like I've said before, I like my books to be in like new condition. So the books that I've ordered were either in like new or very good condition and their prices are very, very cheap. They range from about three to six dollars, I'd say. Some are more, some are a little bit less, but it's a pretty good price for the books that you're getting and they are used but there is no beating $4 for a regularly $25 book, and I just can't say no to that. The other great thing about thrift books, and this is, again, sorry, only for people who live in the US, but if you spend a minimum of $10, you get free shipping on your entire order. And with that website, you can get like three or four books for about $10, and you get free shipping too. And it says that the shipping takes about four to 10 business days. So that's not too long to wait. It's about average and when you're getting free shipping, I'm not complaining. Another website that I frequently use is uh, the Book Depository. However, I did recently find out that the Book Depository has been bought, I think, by Amazon. So kind of got away your options there. But the Book Depository is a great website. They ship internationally for free and their books are usually at a reduced price. Not as much as Amazon and not as much as Thrift Books or Book Outlet, but at somewhat of a reduced price. Plus, if you have free worldwide shipping, that's a great plus for a lot of people. So those three websites are kind of the websites that I have been turning to instead of Amazon to buy my books online. However, if you're anything like me, you like to buy special editions of books, um, really pretty editions of books, or books that are in certain collections or things like that. I really like special editions, I really like collector's editions, things like that, or books that are out of print. And for those books, I tend to turn to Abe Books, which is another online book selling website. Abe Books has almost any book you can imagine. If you find an edition of a book that you really, really like and you go search it on Abe Books, it's probably there. I think they're sold through like independent sellers who are selling through a books's website, but you can find almost anything on there in any edition, in I think any language, and it's 
pretty, pretty extensive and pretty impressive. And I will leave links to all of these websites down in the description box so you guys can go check them out for yourself. So that is it guys, that is it for my video on where I buy my books. Let me know in the comments down below, where do you guys buy your books? Are there any websites that I don't know of that I should be aware of where you can find really cheap books or you can find really cool editions of books? Let me know that in the comments down below. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little discussion video. I kind of want to make more of these. Um, let me know in the comments down below below what other discussions you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It smells, yeah, it smells like one of my Twilight books. This is the short second life of Britannia.